I just got home from work. Uh, had a rough day. Let's play some Xbox. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Let's try this again. No! Come on, come on, come on! Uh, yes, we've all known those similar experiences. We go, we get home, we're doing whatever. We go to turn on our Xbox, we want to play some games. We've all known this. Some people have been getting this recently, and some people are one of the originals who saw this the, for the first time around 10 years ago or so. It's a very sad thing to have happen. However, there's plenty of simple things that you need to know to make sure that you are actually knowing what's going on with your Xbox 360. So this is a video to show all of you guys how to diagnose, maybe not repair, but at the very least know exactly what's going on with your Xbox. Let's get into it. So you got your Xbox 360 that you are currently using, or at least were, until you saw this. So what's the solution? There's a lot of sites, there's a lot of videos, even on YouTube itself, that get many facts wrong about the Red Ring of Death. Now, there's several things that you need to know to make sure that you actually know what's going on with your Xbox. Now, there's several things. However, this is all dependent on a couple very key factors. Number one, if your red ring, it has to, first off, if we're making this conversation, we have to be talking about the three red lights. What you see here, one, two, three. Not four, not two, not one, three. And let me explain why. The red ring of death is not all four rings lit up. Let me explain this. So go to the back of your Xbox and unplug your video cords, whether it be AV or HDMI. If your device has an HDMI slot, then, is, then for the most part, you will never see a four red ring. And that's because the red ring, meaning all four lights lit up, is whenever you have a console that only has the AV slot. If you have a Launch 360 or one that was made before 2007, or even during 2007 before it was obviously refreshed and yours only has the AV port then that's the only way where you would possibly be able to see the four red lights and the only reason the four red lights exist is to show you that your AV cable is unplugged so if you see someone selling an Xbox 360 and they say red ring of death and it doesn't come with AV cables you might want to pick it up because it's probably not red ringed because even when you show the four red lights if it truly has the red ring of death then after about five or ten seconds it will switch to the three red lights also the red ring of death does not happen during gameplay the red ring the three red lights is not something that can happen during gameplay because your Xbox will freeze, it will glitch, it will do something requiring you to turn off the system. And then once you turn it back on, that's when you would see the red ring of death, meaning the three red lights. Now, let me get this also straight. There's another video that's very popular, um, which I do like that video, where it showed someone who basically said, if you have one red light, which first off, the one red light is not at the top, the one red light is down here at the bottom, this bottom corner, and that's regardless of which orientation your console is, that that person said that that means that your DVD drive or your hard drive has gone bad, and that is false. Yes, that can mean that your DVD drive or your hard drive has gone bad, but for the most part, that's not what it means. And also, you cannot very easily exchange your DVD drive in your Xbox 360 because they are designed to be with that specific console. You would have to get one with the exact same model number, same manufacturer, and everything. And even then, I've had very little success when swapping DVD drives. Hard drives, on the other hand, are easy to replace. And you do have a play in charge, or not play in charge, a transfer kit for if you need to move files. But that is still something that I recommend. If you have the red ring, which, see if I can't. See if I can't redo this live on film to show you guys exactly how this happens. Okay. So if you have an Xbox, 
There we go. So, here's the thing. This is a trick that you can do that essentially activates a power failure on your Xbox. This is why sometimes your Xbox will red ring after you have a power failure, and at that point you would just shut it off, turn it back on, and it would presumably work just fine. This is also the exact reason why Microsoft says to unplug the power cord. Because if the connection is loose, like I just demonstrated, then the power cord will not be supplying enough power to the console, and that will essentially turn it into a giant flashlight. So, that, which is why you need to make sure that whenever your console shows the red ring, like this, you have to realize that this power box is either orange or red. If it's green, that means it's the system, and regard and it doesn't matter whether this light, this in the middle is flashing or not. If this light is green, then it's your console. If this light is orange or red, it's the power brick. So remember that. Now, if the power brick is green and you still get the red ring of death, then try this. So, open up your 360 and you can see this is another indication that this is a power failure because if it is on the power supply level, it cannot power the system enough to open up the disk drive. So if the disk tray is stuck and it hasn't done that before it red ringed, it's power related, not the console. So, again, make sure your connections are plugged in all the way, and there we go. And even if it still red rings, remove any disc, just so it doesn't get in the way. This isn't required, this is simply just to make sure that it doesn't get in the way. And then, remove your hard drive, which I can't do because my hard drive, this hard drive is busted. So, we will... And you can see the hard drive just powered down. This is completely messed up. And then, obviously, make sure video is plugged in. If you have any other crap plugged in, unplug it just in case. And do some base, do those basic steps. And then there's a good chance that your system will work. If not, then it is indeed the console. Now, here's something you need to know. So let's undo this one more time. Back to the red ring. And we're doing this all live, no cuts, so you, don't, so you can see that this is real. Now you see this, the red ring. Here's how to actually diagnose what type of red ring it is. Because red ring means general hardware failure. Which means that the three red lights indicates that something inside the Xbox or the power supply has something somewhere has died or broken or is malfunctioning. Something is wrong. So here's how you diagnose that. So you see this, you press the sync button and the eject button at the same time. You can see that says zero, zero again, zero again, and then one. A full ring is zero, one, two, three, for the lights, for the diagnostics. So that way, if you can get that code, punch that code in, my code was zero, 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 one, the very first code, which means power. So power supply, something has gone wrong. Either your power supply isn't plugged in all the way, like it is here, or you might need to replace your power supply. So, what else? If you get the code and you punch it in and it says that there's something inside has actually died and you've checked all the other options, then chances are your system is actually toast. But I wanted to release this video to show you guys that a lot of times it's not what you think it is and your Xbox isn't always dead. And this is just for the three red lights. If it's two red lights, um, I already explained the AV, which means that's just your video cord. Now there are some rare instances where you get four red lights and the actual um, the actual port is dead instead of just the cable which is also possible but for the most part it's just a cable and again you won't even see this if your Xbox has HDMI like mine does. Next, two red lights. Two red lights overheating. That's very simple. Now people always uh, mistake that the red ring of death means something is overheated. When yes, that can be the case, but the fact is, is that is not the overheat code. You know, yes, the red ring can be caused by heat because uh, a lot of red ring issues were because that the motherboard inside the 360 would flex, which would cause the GPU and the CPU's BGA chipset, which means ball grid array. So basically, the stuff that, that keeps it connected to the board would disconnect. And if your GPU isn't connected to the system, then obviously the 360 can't use it and you can't play your games. 
That's also why a lot of people who have Red Ring of Death, they might get some audio or video glitching before it happens. Hence, like I said earlier, your system will not just Red Ring out of nowhere. It will freeze, it will glitch, it will do something requiring you to restart it, and then it will show you the Red Ring of Death. So, what have we learned today? I say so a lot. Just something I said. I did do this video a little bit earlier, but I redid it. And I will take the other one down because this one's better. And just because I have a bit more information now. So, this, that's basically it. One red light, error code. And whether it's one red light or three red lights, you can still get that code. And in fact, any red light, you can still get that code. And the code will basically tell you. So basically, for the most part, if you're really confused, if this is all confusing to you, and you still just aren't sure what's wrong with your Xbox, it doesn't matter what ring combo you have, do the combo, sync and eject four times, punch that code in, it will tell you exactly what's wrong with it. There's a very, there's plenty of guides that gives you plenty of options on what, how to diagnose your Xbox, and I will drop one of them in the link in the description. So, what have we learned today? Hopefully, you know, there have been plenty of pranks rolling around where people are trying to prank people with their Xboxes. Um, it's probably going to be a little bit easier now because people probably aren't as used to the red ring as much as before. And while the newer models of the Xbox 360, meaning before the slim, this is a newer revision of the fat model, um, are much like, less likely to red ring, as time goes on, there is a chance that they can die, which means that you might have a couple new people who are finally now getting the red ring and they might want to know what is up with their systems. So if you have any questions about this, any question about your Xbox, whether it's red ring, disc, whatever, um, whatever's wrong with it, AV, hard drive, disc, red ring, definitely drop it in the comments below and I will try to help you with it as much as possible. And yeah, don't be fooled, don't be pranked about this, and I don't want misinformation to be spread. I want people to actually know what is wrong with their system so they can know to, how to fix it. A lot of this I, get, I got straight from Microsoft on their official descriptions on what these rings, lights actually mean. So this video wasn't scripted or anything like that. This is just me talking, saying what is true, so that way you guys can make sure that you have the right information to get the help that you need. This is that GTA Fan 720 signing out. I hope you all have a good one, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it very helpful. I hope you all learned something, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.